My name is Mr. Chipman. I am the AP Biology teacher at Murray, Kentucky, or at Murray High School in Murray, Kentucky. And this is my video answering question four for the uh, AP exam this year of uh, FRQ questions for 2023. And I've been walking through each one of the questions. I have already answered questions for, or made videos for the first three questions, and this is the fourth question. And let's just get started on it. So here we have. Uh, question number four, non-cyclic electron flow and cyc cyclic electron flow are two major pathways of the light-dependent reactions of photosynthesis. In non-cyclic electron flow, electrons pass from through photosystem to then components of chloroplast electron transport chain and then photosystem one before finally reducing NADP plus to NADPH. In cyclic electron flow, electrons cycle through photosystem one and some components of the electron transport chain. And you see that picture there. It's pretty pretty simple stuff. And let's move on. Uh, describe the role of chlorophyll in the photosystems of plant cells. Okay, Chlorophyll is the primary light absorbing pigment found in photosystems 1 and 2. <coughs> chlorophyll has a magnesium atom at its center and that magnesium atom plays an important role in the donation of its two uh, valence electrons in order to basically power this whole system without those two electrons um, that are picked up by NADP plus and then dropped off in the Calvin cycle to make sugar none of this would happen and so chlorophyll is uh, the primary light absorbing pigment which absorbing the sunlight causing the electrons to to be excited part B Based on figure one, explain why an increase in the ratio of NADPH to NADP plus. And so what is this saying? NADPH is going to increase. NADP plus is decreasing. Uh, will cause an increase in the flow of electrons through the cyclic pathway. Okay. So basically what this is saying is that NADPH is building up uh, and NADP plus is no longer going to be as available. NADP plus is necessary for the non-cyclic pathway because that's where those electrons are going to be picked up and so if NADP plus is no longer available then those electrons are just going to have to cycle through the cyclic pathway which is a way to produce uh, some ATP but it is not um, as reliable as the uh, non-cyclic pathway and so explain why an increase in the because that NADP plus is necessary for the completion of the non-cyclic pathway and be so that uh, that because that pathway will no longer be able to function the cyclic pathway will be um, happening more rapidly. Using rice plants scientists examine the effect of mutation that results in the loss of protein CRR6 and we've had lots of protein names in this one um, in this test. CRR6 is a part of a photosystem 1 complex and its absence reduces the activity of photosystem 1. Predict the effect of a mutation in the rate of biomass. Okay. Biomass is the dry mass of an organism, right? And so what are plants essentially doing? And this is going to, and so you notice part D is just justify part C. And so I'm going to kind of answer both at the same time. Uh, predict the effect, it would decrease the biomass biomass is going to be increased as that organism makes sugar. How is it making sugar? Well, it's fixing carbon from the atmosphere. It's taking CO2 from the atmosphere, turning it into uh, G3P or glucose or however you want to say it. Both of those would probably be counted as correct. And so that is creating more biomass or just transferring that mass is, is a better way to say it, I guess. And if photosystem one <coughs> is broken down, Photosystem 1 is part of the pathway of the non-cyclic electrons, and so they're going through photosystem 1 to ferrodoxin, and they're being picked up by NADPH, and NADPH is then going to the Calvin cycle where carbon is fixed. And so if you have a mutation on photosystem 1, this is, which is going to decrease the, the system, decrease the function of photosystem 1, then you're going to have less NADPH going to the Calvin cycle. You're going to have less sugar being made 
overall and so it would decrease and my justification is because the Calvin cycle is not able to happen as rapidly because there's a decrease in the components necessary for the Calvin cycle you could even talk about um, the production of ATP because the same sort of thing is going to happen here production of ATP happens um, because of the concentration built gradient built up between photosystems two and and one and so that's going to be a, also a necessary component and so breakdown in the photosystems is going to cause a breakdown in the second reaction which is Calvin cycle which is going to cause a decrease in the amount of sugars that are being made hopefully this was helpful if it was please like this uh, video I'd really appreciate that subscribe to my video so that you can see future things I also teach a class in anatomy and physiology and zoology I have an honors biology course uploaded onto my channel as well and I'm going to be recreating all those videos over the next few months and so if you are interested if you're a teacher and you're interested in that please follow along if you're a student please follow along help me out and uh, if you have questions or concerns about my answers please comment down below and i would love to address those concerns thank you for watching